Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek V3 is all over the AI community right now. It's now topping the LMSYS leaderboards, which is pretty great for an open weights model. So, that's super cool, and it's super cheap to use as well. I also covered the DeepSeek engineer that came right after the launch, and it was quite good, although not as great. But today, I have another such tool, and it's DeepSeek Artifacts. DeepSeek Artifacts is by Hugging Face, and it's fully free, and doesn't even require you to sign in or anything like that either. It's fully free. It can generate code in React and Tailwind, which is pretty awesome. It's made in order to help them make their new public front-end code dataset that will also be publicly available. The stuff you generate will be used in the dataset that any person can take in the future and train their model because the dataset will be open source. So, there's that. Anyway, let me tell you how it works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well, with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10, and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, Make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now, this is the main DeepSeek artifacts. Here, there isn't much stuff, and it's pretty simple. You see the dataset link here, where the stuff you generate will end up. Anyway, here, you can ask it to do anything, and you can also see some of the community-generated stuff as well, which all looks good. You can also open the sandbox for these and use them as well if you like any. And you can also look at some other ones in the data sets. Now, let's try something simple. Let's ask it to make me a playable synth keyboard. Once we send it, you can see that it starts generating the code. As I said, it generates the code in React and Tailwind, which makes the generations have pretty great styles. So that's great. Now we have it generated here. And you can see that we have the app TypeScript file here, which contains the code, and it looks pretty great. There's also the index.html and styles file, and both of them contain nothing, as it doesn't require it in this case. But if DeepSeek wanted to use these files, then it could use that as well. Anyway, now you can see that the stuff is made. And if we try to use it, then it works pretty well, and actually looks pretty good, compared to the basic generations that you get with some other stuff. I mean, it works, and it's pretty as well. So, that's pretty amazing. You can also close the code panel here by clicking this icon. This is also good to see, as it will allow you to preview it in full width here. Apart from this, you can also see the reload option here which allows you to reload it if some kind of glitch happens. Or maybe you want to reset some variable or something. Another thing you have here is the Open Sandbox option, which will basically open up the generation in Code Sandbox in a VS Code-like interface. This allows you to first of all see the preview, and you can also share the URL of the thing from here as well by copying the URL. You can also easily edit the generated code here, which makes it quite cool, because it allows you to generate a simple boilerplate and then continue here. So, that's cool. 
and you can also share the generated apps from here quite easily as well. Anyway, if we come back here, one thing to mention is that we cannot make changes to the generated code by asking it, which is a little bad for sure. But if you want to make some changes, then you can go to Code Sandbox and make the changes manually there. Or one more thing you can do is just edit the code here because this is a proper editor and allows you to edit code quite easily manually. If you want to make some simple changes, you can do that quite easily here, and the same will also get updated in the preview automatically. So, you can update and see the new preview instantly here, which is pretty awesome as well. But, if you want to change it with AI itself, then what you can do is copy the whole code here. Then, write the thing you want to change, enter the prompt about what you want to change, add the previous tag to it, enter the file name, and add the copied code. Now, just send it, and now it has the context of the previous generation, and you can just keep doing that until you have the great one that you want. It's doing the generation that I asked it for, and it's now done. This looks pretty good, and did what we asked it to do, which is pretty good to see, and amazing. So, that's great. Also, if you want to download the whole package that you can run locally without creating a new React project and stuff like that, then you can just open the code sandbox. Once it opens, you can click this download button and it will get the whole project with the package.json file and everything downloaded as a zip file. You can then unzip it, start it with the npm run command, and it will get started. You can now use the generated code locally. So, this is a pretty usable thing, because you can generate some really cool stuff with it, like a component that you may want to use, or maybe you want to generate a simple app that you want to integrate into something or use individually. You can do that quite easily here, and it's fully free, and doesn't even need any login or anything at all, which is great to see. So, it surely holds potential, and it being free makes it great. Although the stuff you generate will probably be used in the data set they are making, which is fine, I don't mind it as much, but some of you may. So, there's that. I think it's just amazing, which makes it super cool to use, and DeepSeek is just a very capable model. It's great to have such tools to generate something real quick, rather than having to create a React project and then trying to work with that. So, that's amazing. And you can continue with the project as well in the code sandbox that it uses, which makes it fully online and can be used portably as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!